Hey everyone, it's Nikki and welcome to another Furry Reviews video. Today I'm going to be talking about Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom was created by Sega of America and Technicolor Animation Productions and the show was directed by Natalis Rout Suzak. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. It is a 3D animated series and the first episode premiered on November 8th, 2014. Sonic Boom, the cartoon, which is what I am talking about, is one of the pieces of media in the Sonic Boom spin-off franchise of Sonic the Hedgehog. It is a alternate universe kind of setting with the main characters, Sonic, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, and a new character for the series, Styx the Badger. The show is set in an unnamed village on a kind of tropical island and is about the exploits of Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends getting into regular battles with Dr. Eggman, this evil robotics scientist man who seems to want to create a theme park on the island and that's kind of the extent of his villainous goals. So before I started talking about the more technical elements of the show, I wanted to kind of cover some of my favorite bits. Now, this show is 104 episodes long, so there's a lot of stuff in all of the episodes, so I'm probably not going to cover everything that I liked, but here are some of my favorite moments or aspects of the show. So the first I just want to say I love every scene with Knuckles. His presence fills me with love. I just, I, I have, so I should, I should say right off the bat, this is the first Sonic the Hedgehog thing I have seen, watched, read, viewed in any way, so I'm not familiar with the normal characterizations of these characters or whatnot, but I really like this characterization of Knuckles. I think he's really sweet and funny and I just love him. So any scene with him, I love. I also like that Sonic is kind of like a doofus or a dweeb, even though he is like this like cool guy with these awesome powers. Again, I'm not familiar with the normal characterizations of these characters, but it just kind of took me aback because I'm not used to liking the main character of most shows, or at least not them being one of my favorite characters, but I really like this version of Sonic. I really like his actor as well, and I'll get into that later. I also really like Eggman. He definitely steals the show in a lot of instances, and he oscillates between being a moron and being the only smart person in the entire show. Um, as Tails points out in one episode, he kind of has a weird dynamic with the gang, and I completely agree, but I completely think that it works in the show. And there are jokes about the male characters, particularly Sonic and Tails, refusing to wear pants, I believe this is like a memo at Sega or something like that male characters are not allowed to wear pants in, in terms of like design. So I thought that the jokes about it on the show were pretty funny. <laughs> and then there's what the show is probably known for even outside of Sonic circles, which is how I kind of found out about it, which is the absurd amount of meta humor. Some of it outright breaks the fourth wall, while other parts of it are more kind of leaning against it or suggesting to break in the fourth wall but are not outright calling out the viewers. But I do like meta humor and I, I'm listening to this favorite thing. And it's, but it's not the only good thing the show has to offer, but I do, I did want to include it because I did like that aspect of the show and it was what initially drew me to it. Speaking of breaking the fourth wall and kind of meta humor, there are also kind of a lot of parodies, not just of Sonic the Hedgehog, but of other franchises or of other things like My Fair Lady, The Hangover, Rashomon, Misery, and My Cousin Vinny of all things throughout the show. So I just thought that those references to other pop cultural icons were fun. And some of them like misery or like, I wouldn't think that there would be a misery parody in a children's show, but it works. Then there's the repeated jokes about the quality of Medburger's food. Medburger's is kind of like the generic fast food place. And these jokes about the quality of the food seem to get increasingly worse as the show progresses. Jokes like there's not actually any meat in it. It's not really food. I just thought those were funny. And the whole Med Burger thing, the fact that they keep going anyway, I just thought was funny. So I talked a little bit how I liked Eggman and his weird dynamic with the characters, but I particularly like his relationship and bonding with Amy. They just have a weird relationship where they bond over things like interior design, food, and this like in-universe like tabletop game called Fuzzy Puppies. Yeah, it just their relationship is a bit strange, but I like it. In one episode, Sonic and Eggman switch bodies, as of course is obligatory in most cartoons with a main character and his or her nemesis, but I thought that this show did it in a really good way. Just hearing this old curmudgeonly man come out of Sonic the Hedgehog and vice versa, Sonic being in, in Eggman's body, I just thought it was really, really well executed and really funny. Then there's one episode where there's kind of a boy band or Justin Bieber parody, appropriately named Justin Bieber, 
And I really liked that episode and kind of the plot and mystery surrounding it. And of course, I also liked Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails' rival musical group, Dudetude or Dreamboat Express. I also like the recurring gag of Orbot and Cubot, who are two of um, Eggman's minions. By the way, I like them generally. They're great, especially Orbot. Um, but I like how they continually stitch on Eggman if they don't like what he's about to do. And Sonic even acknowledges it in one episode, like a year snitch on Eggman. I just thought that that was a really interesting dynamic for the minions of the villain to have with the hero heroes. Then in the season finale of episode one, there's a kind of Ikea parody reference where they try to build this Ikea type bookshelf and immediately fail. And they finally kind of succeed to get something up in the air, but it's not really the bookshelf. And, and then Shadow, because Shadow's in this episode, Shadow destroys it and then calls Sonic a shame to hedgehog kind and says that he deserves to die because of his shoddy craftsmanship. <laughs> Which was like one of the funniest lines in the whole series, let alone that episode. Then in season two, we are gifted friend bot, who was initially called fiend bot, who was a kind of AI powered robot that Dr. Eggman tried to use to kill Sonic and friends, but then he ends up becoming Sonic and friends friend and he is very cute and I love him. In another episode with cute robots, Amy ends up adopting one of Eggman's bee bots, these little bee drone things. And it's also like weirdly cute. Like I would have never thought that the bee bot designs were cute but just the way she plays with it and befriends it because Tails reprograms it to not be evil was very sweet and a fun episode. Then in another robot related episode, do you notice that I like a lot of the robots and a lot of the things to do with Eggman? But in another robot related episode, Eggman creates Mombot, who is this mom-like robot, as her name would suggest. And in the end of the episode, Sonic and his friends go over to Eggman's lair and she just makes them food. And <laughs> they're just all sitting there at the table eating food with this robot who's like a mom. And it was just so funny. I love that scene in particular, but just everything to do with Mombot, to be honest, she's great. And yet another Eggman related favorite moment, although this is kind of a subversion of that, but there's Steve Eggman, who is Eggman's long lost brother. And that is all I'll say because I haven't really talked about any spoilers, but he's a great character. Need I say more? And lastly, and this is definitely, well, it's the plot of an episode, but it's not a very like huge thing, but there's an episode where Eggman gets the actually very brilliant idea to create these robotic fleas to attack Sonic and the gang, which annoys the hell out of them. And I just thought it was a really interesting use of the fact that Sonic and his friends are animals and that fleas would be something that would be a huge issue for them. Now granted, like obviously humans can get fleas and ticks and all, all, all sorts of other insects, but just the use of fleas as a plot device with an anthropomorphic animal cast, I thought was an, a, a, a cool concept. All right, now I'm going to get into the technical elements of the show, which include the storytelling and writing, the art style and character design, the setting and world building, and the performances. Storytelling and writing. The writing of the show is definitely its main draw for Sonic fans and non-Sonic fans alike. Dialogue is great, super fast paced and witty with a bunch of great jokes thrown all over the place. I also think that the characterization is very interesting. Again, not I'm, I'm not a Sonic mega fan. I don't know what they're normally like, but I feel like here every character has a distinct personality, even if it is extreme or cartoony like Knuckles or Sticks. I also think that the plots of many of the episodes are interesting. Well, the show definitely has a formula, Sonic and co are attacked by Eggman and proceed to beat him up. It often goes about implementing that formula in unique ways so that the episodes don't all feel super repetitive. I feel like that gets better in the second season and kind of like the second half of the first season. I feel like the first episodes in the first season are a bit repetitive, but I feel like as it goes on, there are a lot more unique uses of the characters and settings and plots. Art style and character design. This is where the cartoon kind of falls flat. Now, as a Sonic noob, I actually like Sonic's design with the blue arms. I know, hang the witch. <laughs> um, but I like the blue arms better than his peach ones. I think the peach ones are well suited to the 2D art style, but in 3D, just that kind of odd arm line where his f blue fur meets his peach fur is a little bit weird. Amy has the same thing, although she wears a shirt, so it's not as abrupt looking. Um, but yeah, sue me. <laughs> I also think that the designs of the main cast are generally good. It's the background characters that are pretty boring, or even like the more one-off characters. I know the show had a limited budget, hence the small population of Hedgehog Village, but I think since we saw the same few characters basically in every episode, they could have been a little bit more vibrant at least. I feel like part of the reason why they're more dully colored is so that the main cast stands out from them, 
But since it's the same group of characters, rather than like a mass of faceless characters, they could have made them a bit more unique or standing out on their own. If the models were just a bit more colorful and the lighting was a little less flat or more dramatic, I think that the show could have easily looked a lot better, but it's not like it's ugly or anything. And I'm not really an expert in animation, let alone 3D animation, so I could be full of shit, but the animation is nothing to write home about. It's good, but it's not amazing. And it, I wouldn't even say it's good, it's competent. <laughs> Setting and world building. In keeping with the show's budget, there are very few locations in the series, which is even joked about by Orbot in universe. <laughs> However, I think that all the locations are adequate to tell the stories that the writers wanted to tell. I was a bit perplexed by the decision to give all of the main cast a home, except for poor Knuckles. Give my boy a house. Why is he a like vagrant? <laughs> As someone who's not familiar with Sonic, it was a bit strange to me that Dr. Eggman is the only human in the series. Although from what I gather, just like thinking about like Sonic X and other stuff that I've seen, the coexistence of humans and animal people is kind of something that varies throughout the franchise, so. Performances. The performances in the show are also really great, delivering well-written lines with gusto. I particularly liked Roger Craig Smith as Sonic, which I know is a bit of a controversial thing, although I think now people like Roger, but Initially, people were mad that he was replaced, or that the old voice actor was replaced, but I really liked him as Sonic. I loved Travis Willingham, aka Roy Mustang, as Knuckles. And I also really liked Mike Pollock as Dr. Eggman. I thought they were the strongest. Styx was a little bit annoying, which is weird given that her voice actress has been great in a bunch of other things. But other than that, I basically liked the entire cast. So before I wrap up this review, I wanted to talk about comparisons that this show might have with other media. Obviously this show probably has the most in common with other Sonic media, although it reminds me of a bunch of other things as well. The dynamic between Eggman and Sonic <laughs> reminds me a lot of Dr. Doofenshmirtz and Perry the Platypus, um, <laughs> particularly with the fact that they are very friendly enemies. It also reminds me of Inspector Zenigata and Lupin the Third from the Lupin the Third series, or Doug Judy and Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The series definitely has sitcom vibes, which parody the Sonic franchise as a whole, as well as video games and hero-oriented hero series more broadly. So I feel like any shows that kind of fall into those genres, as well as some other ones, I keep talking about Misery, but like, come on, that was just the most out there <laughs> thing. Um, but I feel like shows that fall into the heroes category or the video game adaptation category have a lot in common with this show because this show is parroting them. So my final thoughts on the show are that it is a fun, smart show that is great for new Sonic fans like me. I will definitely be checking out more in this franchise. I have already seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which I thought was pretty good. And I'm sure old fans of Sonic would also like it a lot. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.